Your, your beloved <laughs> Philadelphia Eagles, man, how are you going to balance the, the nerves and the emotions of Sunday? <laughs> hey, listen, I, uh, uh, I snuck in to see the Eagles play the Cowboys a uh, long, long time ago when I was young, and uh, I still get those same feelings when they play in a big game. And uh, uh, we're going to have a lot of people over, and, and uh, I, hey, listen, I don't think there's any way that we can lose. I mean, if we score 50, there's no chance we can lose. <laughs> okay, okay, but let's just assume you don't get to 50. Look, Philly's had plenty of titles. You go back, whether it's uh, and, and everything except this. Paint yes. the picture for me of what this means to Philly if their Eagles win a Super Bowl. Well, you know, Scott, uh, all growing up, it's a baseball town. Yep. Forever and ever and ever. But then, you know, what's happened in the NFL the last 20 some years? It's just taken over the entire country. Every city that has an NFL team has become a football town. And Philadelphia is no different. Those people show up every single Sunday, win or lose. They, they voice their opinions, don't get me wrong. But they show up every <laughs> Sunday. And for as big as the Flyers parade, the Eagles parade, the Sixers parade, uh, if they win Sunday, uh, Mardi Gras will be the second biggest party <laughs> behind what's going to happen in Philly. All right, impossible question to answer. I'm asking it anyway. We had Keegan Bradley, a PGA Tour winner and huge Patriots fan. He played well, by the way, first round out in Phoenix. I said, you can win or the, or the Patriots can win. He goes, well, you know, they already got five. I, I want one for me. I, I'm giving you your 12th <laughs> title this year or the Eagles' first Super Bowl. you got to pick one. What do you choose? Well, um, you got 11. Listen. <laughs> Listen, it, yeah, I do. I do. I have 11, and uh, uh, I, I, hope the, I hope the Eagles win. Without Carson Wentz, this would be one of the great stories of all time. So I hope they win. And, uh, you know, number 12, whether it comes or not, if the Eagles win, hey, we'll always have the Super Bowl, and nobody can take that away from you.